Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be upgrading my Clock Buster with this 21 turn brush motor. The stock one is 27 turn. Let's put this big baby. Uh, uh. So I have a custom CNC aluminum chassis and the design is copied from another brand but theirs is a carbon chassis, mine is an aluminum chassis. The rear motor, when I push the car forward, the rear motor will be spinning counterclockwise which is the direction of this upgraded motor but the motor at the front, when I push forward, it spins clockwise which is the other direction printed on the upgraded motor. So I believe the motor actually has timing as there are markings over here and here. And there's a start here that prevents you from turning more than a certain degree. So when this start is being rotated to the right side, it's actually increase the speed. In my case, to that side is to retard the speed. And the spinning direction, if we look from the shaft, is counterclockwise. In the case of Clockbuster, one of the motor has to be reversed. The brush, it looks to me, is that it can work both directions equally. But still, on, on the other motor, I actually rotate it 180 degree so that it rotates on the other direction. Before that, so when I apply positive over here, it spins counterclockwise. Now, if I still apply same direction, which is positive over here, it will spin clockwise. That should have optimized the motor for the other direction. But since it's zero timing and the brush looks to have the same curvature on both ends. So I think, I think it's just the same. I mean, the easier way would be not doing any modification here, but just swap the wires. Let me, let me know in the comment section, what do, what do you think about this? Do I really need to rotate the M bell 180 degree, or is just a simple thing of just swapping the wires? This is set as zero timing. I'm gonna remove these two screws. Most convenient tool ever. Uh, so that's the stock 27 turn motor from the factory. Let's strap the pinion over to the reverse motor. Okay, it's not enough. I'm gonna push the pinion for down about 2mm. Still not enough. Okay, about this. And every motor is different because the shaft length is different. Okay, quite perfect. Now putting the cover back on. And for this motor, I think I need to tilt it a bit so that the screw matches the hole. We need to get the right hole. I think we got it. We got the hole right on our first time. So I'm not a virgin. Repeat the same for the front. So far, it has been a really easy swap. I think yellow is the positive, so let's try it first. Alright, let's go forward. Oh no. The rear is correct, the front is wrong. The motor sounds pretty nice. Okay, you gotta swap the front wires. Yeah, now it's going the right direction. Woo! Out of the box at 37 T. Not too, not too slow, but not very fast. I think this nice. Suspension is so noisy. I don't think it's able to jump with that speed. Full throttle? Yeah, no jump. One more. Full throttle. New 21 turn motor test. Uh, full throttle. It's not faster. Hell. And I mean, it's not a fully charged battery, but it's not like badly drained as well. So you can do really. See if you can. Do some air time. Full throttle, just the same. Full throttle, no air time. Ah, uh, full throttle, uh, just the same. It's not fast. It's a waste of time and money. Damn it! So I'm gonna do motor RPM test to verify if the 21 turn is actually faster than the 27 turn, or perhaps the factory one is not a 27 turn. Maybe it's 21, exactly the same. Also, the front and rear motors they run warm, not hot, which is the same as the stock motor. So that's good news. Perhaps I should have just went to 3 cell with Hobby Wing Duo Moto ESC. It's even easier to upgrade than changing the motor. So I'll do a follow up video after this. Bye. Click the left thumbnail for latest video or smash the subscribe button on the middle of the screen. So I'll see you on the next video. Bye!